Tonight's episode is about. Oh man, how do we? How do I say this? It's about Hillary Clinton. Mm. It's about promises made, promises kept, mm. and it's about conspiracy theories galore. Uh, tonight, we're going to show you a theory because I want to give the benefit of the doubt that no conspiracy theory is ever proven guilty until the innocent are proven guilty, right? So we don't know. <laughs> So we don't know until we know. Well, I'm going to show you. They always say baseless, but I think there's always a... There's something. Something there. There's if it's baseless, base. it's only a theory. Yeah, but if it's baseless, you're just making it up. Yeah, but... Totally. Uh, but but there's, there's some... If there's fact to it. was based to it. on... If there's it was fact based to it. on... Yeah. Your, the theory we're going to talk about tonight is based on what happened in the clip you're going to show. Yeah. That's the base. We have a clip. <laughs> Hopefully some of you have seen it. Most of you probably have. Um, here's my thing with, with Mr. Trump, and I'm going to get on your case a little bit. And you'll understand why in a moment. Mr. Trump, promises made, promises kept, right? Uh, You promised a lot of things, and pretty much all of them you've delivered except for one. Or have you? Mm. uh, I think a lot of the reason why you were elected president, among others, was because you said that uh, Miss Clinton would be in jail if you were president. It's a good thing, and I think the clip that she said was, um, it's a good thing that you're not in charge of uh, matters of national security, and then you said because you'd, be, you'd in be in jail, and you, yeah. and you, and you drop the mic, mic drop. Mic yeah. drop. Um, well, he's still president, regardless of the election fiasco. Yeah. He's still the president, so there's still time. Well, Mr. see, Trump. I'm, I'm sure a lot of people out there are, are, are a little upset with you because she's not. <laughs> um, but is she? And I think you know where I'm going with this, Mr. President. Um, we're going to give you a clip right here and just show you where Hillary Clinton's been since 2016. There you go. So here you go. We're sitting here, watch. This is a real video. This is the fainting video from Hillary Clinton. Here you go. You see her fainting. Oh, stumbling. No, oh, let's get her in the car. Let's help you out. Let's get you in there. Oh, oh, she fell over. Hmm. All that good stuff. Well, this is, this is fainting. She fainted at the, fainted at the September 11th Memorial, I think in 2017. Mm-hmm. So they reported that she just got overheated. Yeah. Well, she showed up just shortly later, uh, just fine, she walking looks, around. Her body's stiff right there, not fainted. Yeah, it doesn't look like she wants to get in that car. Here, here, I want you to see this. A little bit of a zoom in. We're going to kind of go through it with you a little bit here. Um, you notice there's a lady on the left holding her left arm from behind her back. And she seems to need have some trouble getting... Hmm. Her arms out into that car. How many people grabbed a hold of her there? Here's what I noticed. Zoom in a little bit more. Let's watch her leg. That's her leg. The little purple looking Joker outfit right there on the left. Okay. That's her leg. Okay. By now, the, if you watch, by yeah. By the rail. By the rail. Yeah. So you see the 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 Secret Service officer walk around. Watch this foot. Here's her shoe. Bam. Oh, she's on her toes. They drug oh. her foot into that car. That could have been because she fainted. Mm. Let's watch it again. It could be what she says it was. Or whoever says it was. Yeah, but she plants that foot okay. before. Here's what drag. I didn't notice. Here's what I didn't notice. Look at her left hand and her right hand. Her left hand is against her back. And watch this. There are cuffs or something on there. They grabbed her hand. Watch it again. They grabbed her hand, and uh, from the right side, and her left side went with it. Her hands are behind her back. The faces of her hands, the tops of her hands, are up against her back. Watch this again. Look, she can obviously handcuffed. Look at that. Wow. Bam. Arrested. Hillary Clinton fainted. So I think that's a little bit more than baseless. Um, and I didn't realize it at first because I've seen we've all seen that a hundred times. That's the real Hillary fainting video at the 9-11 memorial. And she seemed like she lost, you know, her balance and, and kind of went down weak at the knees. But then I started noticing her feet and they drug her. I noticed then the other day, which just blew my mind because we've seen this for a couple of years now, but she had her left hand behind her back, <clears throat> top of her hand on her back, which is strange with somebody holding your arm like a teapot. And then when this Secret Service guy goes around, he grabs her right arm, but her left arm goes with it. Now, that doesn't make any sense. Why would both her hands, tops of her hands, be up against her back Someone on the other side, while someone's grabbing her arm from this side, pulls on this arm, and they both go together. Then her feet leave the ground, and they carry her 
onto. No, she's drug on the drug her toes across. Onto the car. Yeah. So onto. I'm gonna say onto because into is just <clears> awkward. <throat> um, that that's that's beyond baseless. Uh, I she think. She raises my eyebrows and makes me wonder what the heck's going on there because I've. Uh, if she was overheated, you you don't stiffen she wouldn't up. Have, you don't it, stiffen up like that. They look you don't like have your hands was, behind your back and and you're carried. She was tense. Not when you faint, you you limp. You, you're yeah, you're completely limp. It's yeah. dead weight at that point. But so she I'm, was I'm stiff. I'm going to go out on a limb and say that Mr. President, promises made, promises kept, mm. and thank you for that. I do believe that she was arrested, and and you're, we're all going to find out about it after this whole. Horrible fraud by these these crazy crazy people that think they're just so above us. I think as below so above, <laughs> and the people that have been held down and held below the the honesty of truth are about to be unsubmerged from the waters here, yeah, and we're about to see it all as it really went down. Thank you, Mr. Trump, for what you've done. And Flynn and all the sacrifices made to make sure that this corruption is over. So to Hillary, I'm not really scared to say this, but you're uh, you're right where you belong, I think. So 